Without further ado, <laughs> Resolution 14 is going to be explained by Brayton Counter, the I, I call you the head of human resources, the director, director of personnel. Of the time. Okay, we should go with that. All right. Um, in its most basic form, this resolution requests the town board to do three things. One is to approve the ratified settlement agreement with the CSEA White Collar Union. The second is then to apply the same settlement amounts and salary schedule structure to the uh, salary non-union employees and the COLA to the citizen board members and elected officials. And three is to amend the town holiday calendar in conformity with the White Collar Settlement Agreement. And I can expand on uh, any of those topics and so please you. Yeah, certainly, um, you know, I know that that's a good thing. That, that seems like those should be three separate uh, resolutions. If you told me yesterday that there was, it certainly made sense to put them all in one resolution because it was high uh, to that. Yeah, it's, and it's consistent with uh, the past practice of, uh, you know, to use the phrase, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. And so when you reach a settlement with your unionized employees, it's not appropriate to uh, make co uh, compensation adjustments for our house. And this is, this, as you know, of course, is our second settlement of the year. We uh, settled the blue collar uh, contract earlier in the year, and the white collar contract and the blue collar contract, it is the same COLAs, uh, same health care changes, um, and the same changes to how we treat new hires. There is a little bit different uh, salary treatment for new hires in the white collar contract, but um, you know, there's a pattern there uh, and what we thought was good for the town, good for employees, we thought was good for all employees. Um, and I know that, well, four years through the end of uh, 26, which is great, um, but they both blue collar and white collar weren't retroactive to January 1st, they were. Correct. They were, they were effective <coughs> upon settlement and uh, you know that's important uh, because you can't you, the town can't claim retroactive health insurance savings so therefore uh, you know it's fair to not get retroactive wage increases and the only other thing i'll say in the line of the board is that uh, the second component of that having a structure for our department heads and our non-union employees and there are a few beyond the department heads um, that kind of matches up with white collar as far as steps, starting days for certain. And I'm really happy about that because the one thing I saw in the last couple of years is we went to hire people like that because we, we, we were just, a lot of times, I, I don't want to say that we were putting our finger in the air and saying, well, what do you think, what should we, you know, uh, offer them, what should their raise be this year? That's a bad system. Adding, uh, using salary uh, ranges and salary schedules is the best in practice uh, uh, tool. It uh, helps you in so many ways. It helps you, uh, as you were saying, when we go to recruit, we know what a relative range is that we're recruiting for. Uh, it helps with the predictability of budgeting. Uh, we know what the minimum uh, salary is. We know what the maximum salary is. And it also helps uh, avoid uh, kind of one-off situations that are maybe based on the person as opposed to the responsibilities of the position, span of control, consequence of error, uh, you know, qualifications of the position. Uh, you know, it's, it's better to uh, analyze the position and analyze the employee separately. Bill? Last week, they were like, that was great that, that you, you, 
you've got the blue collar and the white collar to see the, you know, the, the health insurance of the 21st century is the high deductible the health savings account. And that, I thought that was a really big win for both the town and the employees. Well, and that's, that's exactly right, Mr. Supervisor. The pricing of the high deductible plans when coupled with a health savings account provide the opportunity for significant premium savings for the taxpayer without causing uh, cost shifts to the employee. There's enough in there that the employee is better off and the employer is better off when we structure them correctly. We believe we've achieved that. And um, even as far as health insurance, the main thing is that uh, the old copay plan has gone away except for you know a handful of, of grandfather folks who are close to retirement. And everyone else will have the high deductible plan as their choice. That's something that the non-union folks uh, went to approximately 12 years ago. So uh, this is bringing that same trend uh, to most of the rest of the town. Well, Raiden, thank you because you know you were the, the one leading the charge on both of those uh, negotiations. I know Eric, you were with us uh, on the blue collar. Uh, it's quite a process. Yeah, you know, it's what Brady has done, uh, structuring all of these, uh, is incredible. I've learned a lot from it, so thank you for all your work. Nothing good happens uh, without you. Uh, I, I, can, I can make this motion, can I? Yeah, okay, so I make a motion to approve the ratified CSEA white collar unit number 7411-01 union contract for a term of four years. 2023-2026, amend the 2023 adopted holiday calendar, and adopt a matching compensation plan for non-union salaried employees and officials. Aye. Aye. Aye.